Hola and welcome back to Travels with Beaver. Today our three week travels around Argentina comes to an end, oh no. Uh, we are here in Buenos Aires, the capital, in the hotel, about to head to the airport and start our journey back to London Heathrow. So come along and enjoy the ride. Today we'll be travelling back home with British Airways in its premium economy cabin. The flight lasts 15 and a half hours which includes a two hour stopover in Brazil. The last time we flew this journey from London to Buenos Aires it was in business class and we were left surprisingly disappointed. To see that video click in the link you can see on the screen. And while we're at it please do subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. It really would make my day and I have some very exciting exciting trips coming up. So when we arrived at Azaza International Airport we headed straight to the lounge which we had access to as British Airways Executive Club Silver members. It was a nice space with private seating, plenty of hot and cold food options and a wide variety of drinks to choose from. We spent a good hour here after being told our flight would be delayed due to, surprise surprise, British Airways suffering another IT glitch. But fortunately our flight arrived only a few minutes late and it was soon time to board. So after necking our teas and not vodka teas, it was time to head to the skies. Good morning. Hello, welcome Hello. Board. Hello. Thank you so much. 21k. Thank you. Thank you. Let's turn right windows today. Thank you. Just boarded, we're on an A350 on this British Airways flight going to London Heathrow. The first stop will be in Sao Paulo in Brazil before we then fly on to our final destination. First impressions of this premium economy cabin are very good indeed. Very nice spacious seating, the recline is very good, I'll save the recline for the seat tour. Um, but yeah, and you've got a blanket, a pillow which I'll also show you later on. And the in-flight entertainment system screen looks quite nice as well, good size. And um, you can even adjust it so the person in front of you reclines their seat. It's not going to be too much of an issue for you. So yeah, first impressions, so far, so good. flight and 40,000 feet cruising altitude we've just received our uh, first snack service we have a uh, choice of tomato and cheese uh, sandwich or a turkey and cheese sandwich I've gone for the turkey I don't know what that is to be honest it looks like some sort of beans um, and then here we've got oh nice some truffle lovely um, and you've got some a bottle of water as well and I chose uh, a cup of tea to go with that let's tuck in cabin it's really good I really really like it it's a lot better than I thought it would be um, you've got really good uh, space in the seat good width you've got it's a quite a comfortable seat as well you've got this good headrest that goes up and down like so and you've got these foldable flaps to make it even more comfortable for your head to rest on the leg room situation is really good I can stretch my legs all the way down under the feet, on, under the seat in front of me, and I'm five foot ten, so that's brilliant. Um, you've also got this footrest, which you bring down like so. So that's really nice as well. You've got the seat pocket there with the in-flight um, safety card there, 
Um, you also got, which was found on my seat when I sat down, you've got the amenity kit here, uh, along with the British Airways provided headphones. Nice to see their logo on that. So I'll be trying those out soon with the amenity kit, lovely. And you've also got the in-flight entertainment screen in front of you, which again looks really good. It's really responsive as well, so that's nice. Um, you've got entertainment on there, which, which includes all the films, uh, including the new James Bond, loads of films there. Looks good. You've got TV, which is where you'll find your box sets and your HBO. Uh, if, you, if you press that, there you go, you've got your selection there. You've got your games, which me and my girlfriend have already been playing. I've been giving um, Pac-Man a good go whilst my girlfriend's been colouring in pictures of random people. <laughs> but perhaps what makes you happy, fair enough. So yeah, good games there. You've also got Sky Flyers, which is all your children's uh, products, uh, children's games. So that's all good too. Uh, that's broken down into TV programmes for children as well as podcasts and games. So yeah, the in-flight entertainment system looks really good as well. Um, and that also shows that we are literally 30 minutes away from landing in Sao Paulo. Lovely. Down here, you will find the control panel to, con uh, to control your in-flight entertainment screen in front of you without having to lean over. So that looks decent there. I'll put that back in. Then you've got two buttons here. Um, this one bring up your footstool there from your seat, so that's quite nice. Let me just put that back. And then the top one here, which is what my recline is, so let's see what that looks like. There you go, that's my recline situation. I'm liking that, really good recline. I can bring my footrest up and I'm almost, obviously I'm not like flat like business class, but it's a really relaxed position that should help me sleep. I always struggle to sleep on planes, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And down here, we have two plug sockets and two USB ports, um, which is good for charging your phone and batteries, etc. You've also got this little neat space for your cups, uh, for storing your cups and your drinks. And then, where's the te tray table, you may ask? Well, let me show you. So, you just have to open this flap here and by holding that and bringing it out there appears your tray table so you just bring it out open it up like so and there is your tray table and slight uh, indented space for a cup there looks good you can bring it forward you can bring it back not the most stable though i mean if i can give you an indication it's quite easy to fiddle, fiddle around with so if, if, we, if we hit any turbulence and there's a drink there, it might end up causing a bit of spillage. So that's not the most sturdiest of tables, but it's okay. You know, it's nice to have it in your armrest so that it's easier to uh, navigate around. So that's nice. I'll close that up there. You can close it into one little space there. So you can just put your drink there. Now watch what's happening. Notice how, notice that? Not the sta most stable of um, tray tables at all. That needs to be looked at, I think. Yeah, not good. Can you imagine having a drink there and when we hit turbulence, bang, drink on the floor. Brilliant. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how the tray table looks. Let me just open it up with one hand there and stow it away. Lovely. Right, so that's the situation with the seat. Also with the seat, you get given a cushion which is nice, I've not used it yet, but I will be using that on the second leg from Brazil over to Heathrow. Nice cushion. And then lastly, you get a nice little blanket as well, which is um, just for World Traveller Plus customers only. Um, so yeah, when you get those two, I'll be reviewing them later on to see how they feel. And I will be reviewing the amenity kit as well. Um, but all in all, it looks really decent. Um, loving the seat, loving the leg room. The recline looks really good, in-flight entertainment system looks really nice. So far, so good, really impressed with it. So like I said, we are about 28 minutes now from Sao Paulo, and so not long until we show you some landing uh, footage.
Right, here we are on the ground in Sao Paulo, Brazil, our first and only stop of the entire journey to London Heathrow. This is the scene that greets me um, in Sao Paulo at the moment. Overcast sky preparing me for the typical British weather that awaits us, which is apparently hailstorms at the moment. Um, but yeah, a couple of Latam planes over there. So yeah, we're just waiting here whilst the cleaners come on board and clean up the plane before we then take on the next load of passengers and fly to our final destination of London Heathrow. So let's have a quick tour of this British Airways A350. Here we have the business class cabin which features 56 suites in total in a one to one configuration. Each suite has a comfortable seat which can go flat, a large in flight entertainment screen, ample storage and is overall a great product. Next we have the cabin that we're flying in today, Premium Economy, which also features 56 seats in a 242 configuration. Last but not least is Economy which has two 219 seats in a 333 configuration apart from these seats at the front. So now let's head back to London. We are now airborne out of Sao Paulo, Brazil and on our way to London Heathrow in the UK. Now I'm going to give the blanket and pillow that is provided by BA a, a try. Um, looks good, but how does it feel? So there we have it, there's the blanket and the pillow um, provided by BA in premium economy. Really good quality, I love it. Really thick feels weighty and um, feels of good quality as well so I can see myself getting comfortable in this and settling into the flight so that's good. Let's have a look at this amenity kit, shall we? Provided by British Airways in premium economy. Uh, we've got a pair of headphones supplied by BA, noise cancelling, I think. And then you've got the amenity kit itself in this snazzy blue and red colour scheme. And it says World Traveller Plus there, if you can see that. Let's tuck in and have a look. Right, so the first thing you get are a pair of flight socks um, as you can see there you go you get uh, an eye mask a lip balm they always come in quite handy actually so that's quite good to have and then last but not least you've got oh nice uh, a toothbrush and a little carton of toothpaste that is the amenity kit provided in premium economy by British Airways. Right, I'm not wearing my mask, which can only mean one thing. I'm eating. Uh, well, according to the rules of the BA fly, we're only allowed to wear masks, take the masks off when we're eating and drinking. I had two options. It was pasta or chicken casserole. I've gone for the chicken casserole. So let's have a look at it. You've got a side here of some sort of beans and salad. Um, got some sort of cake there for the pudding. Bread roll. Um, plastic cup here um, for the tea and coffee that will come around later. So let's have a look at this chicken casserole, shall we? And there you have it. That is your chicken casserole. Let's see how it tastes. Dinner service over. Time for a cup of tea. 
maybe play some games or watch some films. But yeah, and before then, tea time. There's only, I think, what, eight toilets to serve, you know, 200 plus uh, passengers. And just when the lights have been dimmed, that's when everyone goes to the toilet so they can relieve themselves before they go to sleep. But yeah, so I'm going to settle down now, um, shut my eyes, see if I can get some sleep. If not, then just get some rest. And then hopefully the next time um, I'm talking will be when we are having something to eat for breakfast. Just been woken up um, by the snack, uh, breakfast service going round. They just switched the lights on about 10 minutes ago before going around serving the breakfast. I've been served mine, as has my girlfriend. Basically get a ham and cheese sandwich or a ham and tomato sandwich, I believe. So I went with the ham and cheese. And yeah, uh, as, for the, as for sleeping, I think I've managed to get about maybe an hour or a bit more in total. I'm just trying to get comfortable and I couldn't. I don't know whether it's the sea or whether it's just me. I always struggle to sleep in general on planes, um, even in business class. So probably it's just me, but the seat was, tr you know, it's quite hard for me to kind of get into a good position. And that's because, you know, as much as the seat gives me some space, it doesn't give me, you know, I like a flat space. And, I only get that in there in business. <laughs> this is the view outside the window at the moment. Hopefully you can see that the daylight is approaching. Let's have a look at the breakfast, shall we? So I went for a cup of tea, of course. And then the ham and cheese croissant uh, croissant. Well no, ham and cheese sandwich actually. Um, get some yogurt, bottle of water, um, Slice of cake. Lovely. Let's tuck into that and see how it tastes. Yeah, that's nice. I'll uh, finish this off. Have my yogurt, cake with tea, and try and wake up a bit more because I still feel half dead. <laughs> as you can see, but yeah, good morning everybody. Thank you. 
and here we are back in the UK home sweet home so overall that British Airways flight from Buenos Aires to London happy with it the premium economy cabin was good the seat was comfortable legroom was good the recline was good overall happy with that the food average nothing special the service however slightly below average in my opinion for british airways who used to be famous for their service i felt it was lacking because the crew never really came around and asked if we wanted an extra drink or a snack or we were okay so yeah if they'd done that would have improved it a lot more but they didn't so interaction was on a low level that said the flight cost £700 one way, which for a premium economy product is actually very good, considering we were travelling from Argentina all the way to the UK, a long distance. So yeah, for that price, happy with it. Let me know what you thought of the flight in the comments section below, I'd appreciate that. And please do, if you did enjoy the video, like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Every time I see a notification to say I've got a new subscriber, it genuinely makes my day. So please do make my day again and subscribe if you could, thank you. So yeah, got a very exciting trip coming up for you guys. I'll be travelling 600 miles on a flight that costs just 8 pound 99 pocket change basically so yeah looking forward to that so keep your eyes peeled for it and until the next video thank you and goodbye